Welcome back. In this video, we'll learn about the topic named as object recognition. How RFT recognizes the object. Now, for example, if you're doing a manual testing, how do you find out whether it is a username or a password or a OK button? Just by the help of look and feel, you just look at that it looks like username, you just enter the details. But it is not the same into RFT. RFT will not recognize the objects with the help of look and feel but it finds out the object with the help of properties and its values. So that is the topic we are learning, object recognition. Now in case in future the look and feel changes, RFT will still recognize with the help of properties and values. Let us see in detail. We have a problem statement that in case if I get a warning or error message, how will RFT recognize? So let us see that. So the, the when I execute a particular test, I get a log file and the log file shows recognition warnings and failures. That means it is not able to recognize either it throws warnings or failures. So now what is what should I do here? Okay, if a test object changes significantly, how can I make sure the rational functional tester will find it? So if a developer gives me a build A, that means it has an OK button. And after 15 days, he gives me a new build with the same OK button. But I can find out there are some properties which are changed. It is very difficult for a human eye to find out what are the properties have been changed. From the look and feel, you can easily find out they both are same. You can see this OK button and this OK button, they both are same. But the property values might have changed. Let's say the index number or the logical name or some other property name. So what it what can be done? So here is an example, the same example what I've shown. If a rational functional tester finds a button during playback, how does it know that uh, this is the same button it found during the recording? How it will recognize? So the answer is using the properties and values. So now the properties values, I said the object recognition, it will be divided into two parts. It finds out the object based on this recognition weights. It's nothing but the preference. And second one is recognition threshold. That means nothing but expected result. So these are two parameters we can find out with the help of this RFT. Now to recognize test object during playback, rational functional tester uses these two things. Now let me go in more detail to explain you the topic. Now, for example, I have an object you can see on the screen. This is just a graphical or a picture view, so you can easily understand. So I have an object where there are four particular properties of an object. And based on the size, you can find out I am giving the preference. The bigger the size of this property, I am giving the bigger preference or higher preference. The smaller size, lower preference. So one, two, three, four of properties of one object. So the next one I have, there are two types again, which are given. Here it is given as properties recorded during the in, in the object map, that is a test object map. And here properties found during the playback. Okay. Now these are uh, properties of the same object on different situations in the test object map and during playback. Carefully observe the size of the properties in both the places are same. The color of the properties on the both places are same. When expected is equal to actual, that means expected property values and actual property values both are same, you will be getting the answer as match. This is what we are doing from last few videos. We are recording and we are executing. We are not making any changes. So the object is found on the playback. That means the properties are matching here. Now, sometimes it you might face a situation where at some place one object property is not matching. It has been changed. As I said, developer after 15 days is giving me a new build where there are some properties which are not matching. So for example, here you can say one property does not match. So what should RFT do? Should it execute? Should it pass? Or should it give me a warning? So in this case, what happens is even if one property is not matching, in case one property is not matching, the answer will be yes, object is still found and you can see as yes, close enough match. That means no warning, no error message. Okay. Now who decide this? We decided. Okay. Should we pass or should we make it as warning? Now let us see the next situation. When there are multiple properties, let's say property one and property two, this both properties are not matching during playback. Okay. You can see the object is still found, but a warning message would be displayed with the weak recognition information. Okay. That will be the warning message. The object is still found. It is not giving an error message. You can see the heading object still found and there are two differences. So this would be the situation. Now let's see the worst case when three objects are not matching. So you'll be getting as no match. That means object is not found. And here you'll be getting the error message as object not found. Okay. So now you might have a confusion like you might have a doubt here. 
when it will say as weak recognition, when it will say as object not found, we are responsible for defining the threshold. We can define the limit whichever we want at the back end. Okay, so here it says the object not found. Now, let me show you in more detail. Now, whatever was the size as these are the property values, properties, name, type, role, class and index. All the properties of this object named as button are given some weightage, are given some preference. You can see 100, 100, 50, 100 and 100. Now these are totally customizable. These are not been fixed by RFT. You can just customize. That means you can give preference to type as higher as compared to index, which is given here. If you want, you can just modify everything here. Okay. So based on this weightage, the preference is given and the warning and threshold has been, you know, categorized. So this is how it looks like. This is a graphical or you can say as picture format, but what happens in the real time? So this is a test object map with the different hierarchies of object. These are the properties of the object, the values. And at the right hand side extreme corner, you can see these are the weightage. As I said, weightage are nothing but preference of that particular property. So here you can easily understand that the dot class index is having the lowest, you know, preference as compared to the other properties. Okay, because it's given as 50. If you want, you can make it as 70, 80, 90, whatever you want. Okay, so those things you can do. So for this particular OK button, I have this properties values and you can just customize this particular weightage itself. So it is easily customizable, right? So this is just an introduction video of how RFT will recognize any object, even if the developer changes the application without the look and feel how it will find out whether the properties and values are not the same. So RFT is much more smarter tool. So this is just an introduction video, a theoretical video. In coming videos, I'll be showing you practically how to find out this, you know, object recognition, different objects. And I hope you have understood. That's all for this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.